students wonder what the path of a point on a wheel rolling without slip would look like. Today we're going to explore that in a little more. We have a spool that will roll without slip on its inner radius on this track here. To track points on it, we have LEDs. So, the yellow is exactly on the inner radius of the spool, and anything inside of that will act exactly like a wheel rolling without slip. The outer points will have more interesting paths that we will also track. In order to track the motion, we will use two techniques. One of those is long exposure photography, which will just show the end paths of the lights, and the other is video post-processing, which will attempt to track the light as it moves through the video so you can see how it rolls. All of the curves traced will belong to the cycloid family of curves. The first curve is traced with the green LED at the spool center. Since the center of the spool should always be one inner radius from the track, the path is traced as a straight line with slight variations from the curve of the track. The purple LED is between the spool's center and its inner radius. All such points will trace curtate cycloids, which look a bit like elongated sine curves, and will vary depending on the exact distance. The yellow LED is located exactly on the inner radius of the spool. It traces out a cycloid, where you can notice distinct cusps once every rotation. This is when the light has zero velocity, as it is at the no-slip point and instant center of the spool. The next two curves will be prolate cycloids. Prolate cycloids form for any point outside the inner radius and will have similar characteristics. First is the blue LED. Notice that the path starts to curl back on itself. The outermost path is the red LED, which looks similar to that of the blue LED. As the path loops back on itself, you can notice that at some points, this light actually has a negative x component of velocity, even though the entire spool is moving to the right. Finally, we will show all of the curves traced out together. In this way, a full family of cycloid curves can be seen, and intermediate curves are easier to imagine. This should show how seemingly simple things can contain an entire spectrum of interesting phenomena.